right, what's up? So it's kind of sunny. Might not be very good for video, but we're gonna go for it anyway. So uh, I'm gonna assemble, so I gotta figure out the distance between the, the rear crust member on the back half kit and where their center line of the reactor is gonna be. So I gotta mock this up so I can get a measurement on that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and uh, then we'll go hopefully start messing with the car. All right, so uh, I got the four link set up, mocked up, and you can tell I've never had a four link because I started putting the rear end brackets on upside down, but uh, I caught it. So now we'll just take a measurement from the front of the cross member there. I'll probably try to get a little more level and uh, take a measurement from the front of the cross member. And I'll take it to the front edge of the rear end bracket there. And then uh, since I know that's a three inch circle, I'll just add an inch and a half to it to give me the center line instead of trying to eyeball the center. All right, so I got some blocks of wood, get a little more level. So I'm gonna measure from the front of the cross member, the front edge of here. So I'm getting so that gives me 25 and a quarter inches, and I'll just add an inch and a half for the diameter of the axle tube. And then we'll have to use that measurement when we go to the car. All right, so uh, we're going to set up the tires now. So I, in the wheel well where I want them. Uh, so before when it was a leaf spring car, I always ran the Toyo drag radials on the street, and they were 315, 35, 17s. And then uh, when I go to the track, a lot of times I'd switch over to just 28, 10, 50 slicks. And... Uh, one thing I never liked was the slick was really close to the front lip. So we're going to move the rear end back a little bit. And so the slicks will fit a little better. better. And then I'm probably going to switch to a different drag radio because the goal is to really run a drag radio and just go to the drag strip and not change tires and stuff. So I'm looking to go to like the 305, 45, 17, I think it is. And uh, which is kind of a 28 inch tall tire. So we can wait. So uh, this, the time lapse you just watched was me just kind of figuring stuff out. So that's going to be the center line of my axle. And then if you look at my four link, I just mocked it up a while ago. And uh, so I need to come 26 inches and three quarters forward. And that's where the front of the cross member on the four link setup will be. So I measured from there to 26 and three quarters, which is a mark there. 
Uh, I don't have the car level yet, but once I do, I'll transfer the 26 and 3 quarters to there. And then we'll go underneath and that's where we start cutting the floorboard out, which I'll definitely, you know, probably leave a, at least a half an inch, maybe more. In, just in case my math ain't right. And uh, I'm going to remeasure this one time at least before I do a lot of cutting. So uh, one good thing about working with old cars, already had a lot of rust in it. And so a lot of these panels, I just, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. So uh, they were just self-tapped. I had panels over them, just self-tapped in just to keep the road stuff out. So uh, don't have a lot to cut out. One thing I do have to figure out is right now I've got the eight point roll bar in it and don't think I'm gonna be able to reuse it, but I'm gonna try to cut these off. So in case I want to, I don't have to recut everything out, but I think I'm gonna cut it all out because right now it's inch and three quarter. I think I'll probably cut it out, order a 10 point that's inch and five eighths and uh, do a 10 point. But uh, so I got a, my new frame rails 28 inches wide. So the frame rails in here are like 33 inches. So I'm gonna leave the frame rails intact and just cut out everything in between down to the front floorboard and then uh, we'll do some test fitting, test cutting and figure stuff out. All right, it is time to start cutting. So I think we're gonna cut the row bar first. So we finished up for the day, cut a big hole in the car. So uh, this is just a rough cut, uh, still got to do some trimming up front, which we'll get to hopefully in the next video, and then we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.